Considered as the most well-known and well-respected international organization in the world, the United Nations or the UN is known for maintaining international peace and security, fostering cordial relations among states, achieving international cooperation, and serving as a hub for harmonizing the acts of nations. However, little may be known on island about the missions of the UN and its overall work in St. Lucia, including the attainment of Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. It is for this reason that a school campaign was mounted, beginning with the Sufre Comprehensive, to educate students on what exactly the work of the UN entails and the importance of its operations. UN Country Coordinator for St. Lucia, Dr. Lorraine Nicholas, says not many St. Lucians are aware that the United Nations has a presence on the island in the form of a coordinating office brought on by recent UN reform stemming out of requests made from member states. Because the reform came about by the countries going to the United Nations and saying, hey, if we are to achieve those ambitious sustainable development goals, you cannot stay in New York and expect us to do it in such a timely manner. We need you to be closer to us, to support us, and to understand what our needs are, what our priorities are, so that you are better able to respond to those priorities. United Nations Day is the commemoration of the establishment of the world body following World War II in 1945. One of the charters of the United Nations operates within the Ministry of Education. The National Commission for UNESCO is being headed by its Secretary General, Marcia Symphorian. I was especially pleased to be able to speak to the students about some of the work we've done in SUFRE. Um, two projects in particular were highlighted, two initiatives were highlighted. The first, of course, being the inscription of our pitons on the World Heritage List, which is extremely prestigious, helping them to understand the importance of that inscription and their responsibility um, to ensure that it is safeguarded for future generations. Um, the second project that we, we highlighted was SUFRE Radio, which is uh, SUFRE FM which was actually established um, through a collaboration between UNESCO and the Sufra Regional Development Foundation. Giles Romulus is the Senior Program Manager for the Global Environment Facility for Small Grants Program with the UNDP, the United Nations Development Program. He has enjoyed for years working with people at the grassroots level, engaging in sustainable development programs that enhance their lives. He too got a chance to share his experience with the students of the Sufra Comprehensive. The Global Environmental Facility is a program, is the largest multilateral donor funding mechanism for environmental projects in the world. Okay? The largest single funding donor for climate change is the Green Fund. But the Global Environmental Facility is the largest single multilateral program for most aspects of the environment. So we are concerned not only of climate change, but biodiversity land degradation, which is how the quality of our soils, pollution. We are concerned about um, international waters and pollution. We are concerned about chemicals and waste, toxic chemicals entering our environment. We are now into looking at food security, sustainable cities, the quality of the air we breathe. Other UN agencies include the United Nations Human Settlements Program, UN Habitat, the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, the World Food Program, and the United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.